guys, so today's video is going to be the first mental health video that I have done in a while. I took a little bit of a break from YouTube before doing Vlogmas. Um, I'm going to put a post up explaining kind of what's happened with that. I feel like Christmas is a really kind of uh, crucial time for mental health. I've been experiencing a lot of things this month that have been kind of challenging to my mental health and I know that it is a very difficult time for a lot of people. So I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys, give you guys some tips if you are struggling this Christmas. Um, and yeah, just talk about kind of like the reality of it without being too depressing. So the thing is about Christmas, we see it on the TV, we see it in the shops, we hear it on the radio. Christmas is supposed to be the most wonderful time of the year, the happiest time. Spending time with family, eating lots of food presents all sorts and although yes it is amazing this whole kind of uh, commercialized Christmas can actually put a lot of pressure on um, people to you know feel a certain way and I know I have caught myself so many times this month thinking I don't feel festive like everyone else is in the festive spirit everyone else has you know sorted out Christmas and I haven't and you start putting pressure on yourself this pressure is kind of even more amplified when you are suffering with mental illness so for me um, when I was really ill I didn't want Christmas to happen I was so depressed that I just couldn't face you know pretending to be happy for even a day I just found that too hard and actually I'll tell you a story I um, ripped the Christmas decorations down and I was so angry with my mum because in my head obviously this was you know a view through depression she had put those Christmas decorations up to spite me because I'd said that I didn't want Christmas and of course that wasn't why like she was just doing you know the normal thing that people do at Christmas and decorating the house my family were amazing they even said you know we will not have a Christmas if that will be the best for you but in the end I managed to do it I think I might have actually drunk my way through it I'm not sure I think the compromise was that my mum just bought me like a whole bottle of Malibu that I just drunk with my Pepsi Max like all day but yeah I know that there's gonna be a lot of other people um, who will hopefully find this video who are feeling that way you're feeling like you don't want Christmas to happen and you might be feeling like you're the only one that kind of feels not festive the thing is when you're depressed you just kind of lose interest in everything so this whole like happy clappy christmas time you're just like no there is so much pressure to have the perfect christmas day i used to meticulously plan our christmas day or go through the kind of tv guide a couple of days before and plan our day around kind of what was on tv that christmas day and now when I look back, yes, like, it, it, it's quite a good idea, but just let Christmas happen. I think the most important thing is that you are with people that you love. Just cherish your family, as difficult as that situation may be. I know, obviously, a lot of people um, will have a difficult family situation this Christmas. And if that's the case, hopefully, you know, you've got a good group of friends that love and cherish you. I am always here if you guys want to talk about anything, any kind of fears about Christmas. I know also obviously Christmas time can be difficult with people with eating disorders. People eat so much on Christmas and that can seem very very daunting. But it's Christmas day if there is one day to treat your body it is Christmas. Christmas day is you know a chance to try your best to kind of join in with what your family is eating. So yeah, I guess I just wanted to kind of send my love to those of you who are struggling this Christmas. Trust me, I've been there. And Christmas can be a really horrible time when you are suffering. But from me to you, just try your best to embrace it. My tips would be to not put pressure on yourself, to not, you know, 
try and live up to this expectation of you know the perfect Christmas that you see on TV. Also just take the time to kind of appreciate your family and your friends. Use it as a time to kind of relax and just forget about you know anything else that might be going on. Just focus on Christmas Day, opening your presents, eating whatever you want and just having a lovely day. Number three, if you are struggling on Christmas Day, please, please, please tell someone. If something goes wrong or something happens to kind of trigger um, horrible feelings on Christmas Day, please tell your parents or a friend or someone so you are not sitting up in your bedroom self-harming while your family is downstairs having a good time <laughs> that has happened to me and it's just not nice. You just need to try your best to kind of get those around you to help you through it. So take it easy this Christmas period. I hope kind of me um, talking about it and the little tips I've given um, will help you guys but as I said I'm always here if you want to talk. You can just email me or message me on any form of social media and again yeah I'm sending my love to all of you and I hope you all have the best Christmas that you can possibly have and yeah just keep on going because it does get better I promise you no matter how you feel now just carry on plodding forwards and you will get there. Let me know also what you want me to cover in the new year kind of mental health wise. I was thinking of doing a kind of you know recovery step so my tips for various things and situations like anxiety like for example when you're at school. If you haven't already seen me talking about um, self-harm on Sky News I will leave that in the description below because I think hopefully it will help some of you guys. It's amazing that I actually went on Sky News to talk about it like I would never four years ago when I was really ill think that I would be able to even survive it. Sending positive vibes your way and I will see you soon. Bye!